your children to schools. The local man who's in the shipyards. Sisters, today is an auspicious day. We meet here in Beamish Town as a branch of the tree. Sisters, we have pressed our cause over many years under the leadership of Millicent Fawcett. We have held our meetings. We have written letters. We have spoken to our MPs to win their support. And two years ago, two years ago, we had 194 MPs voting in Parliament for our cause. The National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies has over 500 branches across the country and we have over 100,000 members and we are supported by many men, some of them men within Parliament. Well, I think what women should do is concentrate on the way men treat their wives because they treat them terrible. They can go and earn the money they go and they get their money, they give their wife a couple of shilling and they keep the rest in their pocket. The women's got to feed the children on it and do everything with it and they go with their big share into the pub and come back home from the pub and pass their women up. A parliamentary vote is a symbol of citizenship and the exclusion of women only from that vote reinforces the inferiority of their present status. <laughs> Women, you have a moral obligation to others less fortunate than yourselves to support this cause in any way that you can. You owe it to your own conscience and self-respect. We need deeds, not words. You should be able to get yourself a is it not right that our children's concerns and our children's needs are addressed? Is it not right that they have the same chance as others? And is it not right that we should have votes for women? And we shall not cease until we win votes for women. Votes for women! Votes for women! Votes for women! And I think everybody should get the treatment for their health, not just the rich. And these poor people that's dying for the cause of all, they should have something done for them. Parliament makes laws and women are expected to abide by these laws and yet women are not trusted to vote. It's been excellent. Definitely forged ahead, and I think we've definitely got some yes. people on the way yeah, to absolutely. help us and support us. I think there have been many strong, intelligent women here today. Reasonable, intelligent women, and that has to do a lot for our cause. I think it's been a very successful day, and that the women who have been here are only hoping that they can take it back to wherever they live and that they get the support of all the women going and we can get the support so we can get our vote and get our voice heard. Let us be able to go through to the outside of here as well as inside and those hecklers, they were terrible them. But I hope it all gets through that women should have their vote in this country. Yeah, yeah. But it's been absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. In fact, I don't want to get changed. <laughs> As an MP, it just really makes you quite humble that you think because of the women who did this against, you know, such opposition such as you know Mr Ling there um, and also against womankind other women who were so s strongly against you know the, the the principle behind votes for women as well yeah you, re you really had to be quite brave to stand up and um, you know and, and go against them and obviously that was why what led to some of the women being so militant as well because you know the the if probably if they carried on peacefully we wouldn't 
of ever getting to where we've where we've got now. And do you think votes for women is a reality? Yeah, we're getting I think so. It's coming, it's coming. Hopefully not take too long. Absolutely. I, although I do believe in peaceful protest, as you can tell. I do. However, I think we'll get there. Many more events like this. Probably worth us all remembering that we've still got to keep fighting for better rights, not so much for women in this country but across the world. So well done, everybody. It's been fabulous. You're going to get your vote. Elect a woman prime minister and shoot all the pits. Oh, it's oh, shoot all the pits. Oh, no. We don't just want the vote. We want full equality with men. And how would that work? Let's think about a hundred years from now. And what would this country look like? We would have women and men treated as equals. We would have women and men getting equal pay for equal work. We would have equal numbers. We would have equal numbers of men and women in Parliament. And we would have we would have a woman prime minister. We would have a woman prime minister. And across the Atlantic where our sisters in America are struggling for votes in the same way that we are, we would have a woman, or failing that, a black man, seeking election as the President of the United States.